hot topic of the Imperial I manifold. The comments going around are that it needs a screen, um, needs a display on the device. Um, you have to have a smartphone or you have to have a tablet to tie in with it, which is going to be dangerous because you're going to break your tablet, you're going to break your smartphone, what if the battery dies? And um, uh, I, I think it's kind of garbage. The um, people that are still using analog gauges and a little paper notepad are literally stuck in the stone ages and they will always be around but they will not be the ones that are making the industry what it will be in the next 10 years um, all of the equipment that is coming and recently released uses technology that people would never have thought would be a good place to use uh, refrigeration or residential or even commercial air conditioning would be a good place to use those types of things. I mean, you've got um, thermal expansion valves that replaced uh, pistons, and those are being replaced by electronic valves. And it just shows that we are moving more towards technology, making a system more efficient not always more reliable at this point, but definitely more efficient. The I-manifold, not having a screen, um, for one, reduces the cost. If they had put some kind of a display into the device, they would have certainly had a much higher price tag just to get the device to market. Um, $750 is what the original digital gauges were selling for when they first came out. And beyond that, um, I remember the first set I saw, the ugly Digicools. Um, those were $1,200 um, for a gauge set and two clamps. And it may not have even had two clamps as an option. Um, so technology is definitely going to bring that down. Now, when it comes to losing your smartphone, running out of battery, or breaking your smartphone, or your tablet, um, my answer is the OtterBox Armor. Um, I had the OtterBox Defender um, for years, and it was good as far as drops and general potential damage protection. Um, but I quickly noticed that if you don't have it holstered in such a condition or a position that you um, have the headphone jack or the speaker downward. Um, I've had two or three phones that have had water in the speaker. I go to use the phone, it won't work. Um, so you put it in a case just to use it at work, and of course you're going to um, run the potential for battery loss, but I've got every charger for every kind of device there is. I can charge old iPhones, new iPhones, iMinis, um, Androids, uh, almost have a stock of every charger there is. Um, that's because I don't use the paper notepad, and <coughs> I utilize the, um, phones and tablets, um, as a tool to make my job better, uh, to make me more efficient. Um, if it rains and I've got my little notepad in my pocket, that notepad is useless. Um, with a good case on the phone, I can put in information in the middle of any condition. Um, I know one of the guys that uh, had done thoughts on iManifold, he was talking about um, how his tablet runs slow in the cold. Um, you've got a garbage tablet. If it is affected by cold and runs slower, that just means it's a slow device. You need to get something that's better. Uh, you wasted your money there. Um, you can see up here in my rack, I've got three sets of testo gauges. 
Um, I don't like to use a, the same set of gauges for different refrigerants. Um, I've heard some talk about how the refrigerant mixes are not that big of a deal. Um, I, I don't do it. Um, I commission 410A systems on my Testo 570. Um, I service and do maintenance checks with uh, the 550 Testo. Um, and at this point, when I get my I-manifold, I intend to use it um, strictly for um, newer 410A systems. Um, it will not touch R22 uh, simply because I don't believe that there's a good idea in mixing. Um, so, yeah, a screen on the I-manifold might have benefit for some people, um, but then again, you've got an increased cost. You would definitely be at a grand um, for a basic I-manifold set. Um, so I, I think that uh, if you don't like it, um, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to deal with it. It's the way it is, and they would not have developed it without a screen if they thought that they were making a mistake. Um, I don't see them putting a screen on a second rendition. Um, if you don't have a smartphone as um, an individual at this point, you are uh, only re restricting your capabilities um, to provide a customer service and information uh, as quickly as they expect you to these days. Um, if I had more of an input into the company that I work for at this point, I would definitely be um, running iPads or t uh, a comparable full-size tablet um, to do invoices. I commend the companies that are doing that at this point. It makes sense to be able to easily email, and if you can't email because the customer does not have email, you know, some old lady that uh, doesn't have a computer at all, um, then um, you should have a printer in your vehicle and be able to print an invoice but not have to waste time writing something that they're not going to be able to read anyway. Um, you know among your own friends how many people actually have legible handwriting um, or can spell. Um, but yeah, I'm getting off track here. Um, I think iManifold is going to be something that impacts the industry across air conditioning, whether it be refrigeration or commercial or residential, um, in a very, very positive way. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments.